Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the point estimate for the mean and I'm going to use the TI Inspire to find the point estimate for the mean but you could use any um, method that you prefer. It doesn't have to be the TI Inspire. So first let's just talk about what is a point estimate. A point estimate is a single value that we use to estimate a population parameter. The point estimate that we use for a population mean mu is the sample mean. So anytime it asks you to find a point estimate for the population mean, all you are going to do is find the sample mean. The reason we do this is a lot of time in the real world, it's very difficult to be able to study um, whatever population we are looking at. So for example, if I'm an entomologist and I'm studying the hissing cockroach and I'm trying to find what is the mean weight of a hissing cockroach, um, it's impossible for me to study the entire population of hissing cockroaches on the planet. So I might go and find 30 hissing cockroaches and weigh them to see what they weigh and then I would find the sample mean of those and I could say hey I think that this is a good estimate for the population mean weight of hissing cockroaches. You could use this for any type of mean that you are studying so whether you're trying to find the mean height of adults or the mean weights a lot of times in study, instead of studying the entire population, we will just study a sample. So I wanted to go through an example with you of finding a point estimate for the mean. And the example that we have here is a researcher is trying to determine the number of hours college student athletes spend per week on required athletic activities. A random sample of 30 college student athletes is selected and their time spent on required activities is recording, recorded in the following chart. So when it says find a point estimate, and I should use a different color, find a point estimate for the mean amount of time spent per week on required athletic activities for all student athletes in the conference, all that is telling you to do is to find the sample mean. So all I would do is just find X bar. So I would find the sum of all of my values. Um, X, remember, is just the random variable that we use for hours per week, so that's the variable that we use. Um, and divide it by the sample size. So in this case, our sample size would be 30. So we would just add up all these values. So if you wanted to do this by hand, you would just do 19 plus 22 plus 25, plus you would keep adding all the way till you got to the end, 19 plus 23, okay? Um, using the ellipsis allows you to show work without actually going through and doing all of or having to write out all 30 values. And then we would just divide by 30. Okay, so like I said, I am going to use the TI Inspire to help us find this mean. I have already put the data into here, but if you were starting from scratch, what you would do is you would open a lists and spreadsheets screen, and then you would enter your data in here. It is really important that you go up to the top and name your variable, that way you can find it later. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit um, the arrow key, control and arrow to the left so that I can go to where I already have the data. So if you notice, I already have data in here and if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I do have my 30 data points listed out. So if you wanna pause the video and go ahead and put these values into your calculator. And then once you're done entering all 30 of these data values into your calculator, just resume watching and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so now that you have your data in, what I like to do is I instead of doing any calculations in the spreadsheet itself, which I find it's hard to find the information, I will hit Control and I and I will insert a calculator screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the calculator screen. And the nice thing is with this one is I can just type in the word mean, and then it will bold it, that's saying that it's a command, and I can put the parentheses. And then I can go to my variables, and I can select the variable that I typed in. So hours was the only variable. And then when I hit enter, it gives me the answer, and that's it, 21.133. So this would be my approximate hours per week, okay? So then you could write a sentence saying a point estimate for the mean number of hours spent per week 
for student athletes. On required, sorry, my handwriting is getting bad. I need to slow down. On required um, athletic activities. is approximately 21.13 hours per week. So anytime it asks you to interpret or anything like that, you would just write a sentence finding this. So we could say, on average, based on our sample, um, students spend approximately 21.13 hours per week on required athletic activities. Okay, the thing about a point estimate is oftentimes our sample mean is not going to be the same as um, the actual population mean. So a lot of times what we will do is create an interval estimate, and so I will discuss that in another video. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.